Hey YouTube, what's going on? So today in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the file backup in AOMI Backer Upper 2.0 on how to use the file backup feature of it. It's quite easy to use actually. The software is very easy to use and any almost anyone can figure it out just by taking their time with it. So let's get on with it. So as you can see here I have IOMI Backupper Professional it's version 2. This will be the screen that you're greeted with when you fire up the software. You have your home tab create new backup which will take you to this screen or you can just click backup and it'll take you to the same screen anyways. You have restore clone, which you can do partition clone, disk clone, or you have utilities. So for this case we want to go here. We want to click file backup. You can give it a name, so we'll call it what's called tutorial backup. And in this case I'm just going to go add folder and I'll just throw eight folders in there and then create a backup. But as you're probably wondering here, filter settings. This is what it is. File inclusion mask, backup all files. File exclude exclusion mask. File no files need to be excluded. And folder exclusion mask is no folders need to be excluded. So if there's folders inside there, it won't exclude them. Or you have these two options down here. Exclude hidden files and folders. So if you have anything hidden inside that folder you can tell it you don't want it backed up with it or exclude system files and folders but for the purposes of this video I'm not really going to be worried about it because it's just folders that I made after the fact and it will tell you like you just seen so we'll try that one again. Hit OK. It'll pop up this if you're trying to add a duplicate folder. The item you select has already been added in your backup list. Don't don't need to add again. So you can just go back and carry on. So as you can see here, you can select this I have other stuff in here so we'll make a new folder inside there called tutorial back up folder so you hit OK you have this option here you can have schedule off So as you can see it just says don't run only at. So it'll only run once. And then you have backup options, so you can have comments. You can would you like to save it to global settings? Don't worry about it, you have compression. High maximum data compression will take longer to create backup. Data will be moderately compressed, recommended compression level. Data will not be compressed, so this may significantly increase the size of the image. Just your best bet is to just leave it normal. And what would you like to save global settings? So it's asking if you'd like to save basically it's saying do you want to save these settings for next time? And then enable encryption for Backup for backups. It's basically there's where you, if you want to have like a password protected backup, this is when you do it. You can. I don't believe you can add it after the fact. And then backup splittings. So I'm backup splitting. I'm just gonna leave it at automatic because the backup isn't gonna be that big anyways. So I'll hit OK, and then you'll hit start backup. 
So as you can see, this backup is initializing, getting the information, scanning the authority files, and now it's trying to trying to create snapshots. You do also down here have an option to shut down computer after completing the operation. You can leave that unchecked unless you're setting up before you go to work to do the backup and you just want to shut your computer down when you're when it's done. Other than that, and then once it's done backing up, it'll prompt it'll say one hundred percent. Back back up to K tutorial backup. So you can hit finish. So as you can see here you have a bunch of properties and there you go you can see the backup was created then last backup time where it was in the comment version saying it was a full backup of all those files files and list it shows you here what was backed up backup scheme enabled disk space management so you can have this and it will delete so if you have if you want you can schedule a backup say for every Wednesday well, like say Wednesday of the last week of every month so you can have a backup but then it will then you can have it so that it deletes the previous backups After so many days, so many versions old of that backup, but it will only do it after there's been a new backup made. So I'll show you here in the folder where my backup is. Should be in here somewhere. Tutorial. So there's my backup, and you can see I only back up or backup file. So that's how easy it is just to back up certain folders with this the I only backup software. It is really easy to do. So there'll be more tutorials coming on this software, how to use different functions of it. I will make one on how to actually restore that backup later on so thanks for watching so thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe